Hey, I'm here at the Air Force Museum today because I needed some pictures of my Michelin tires uh, for my web page. I wanted to do a quick overview of the uh, display we set up here. Excellent showcase. Nice job they've done here. One thing we were going to try to do is get a spotlight, shine down on the engine a little bit, and we'll see if we can get that done yet. I bragged a bunch of goodies out with this thing, setting it up. I don't have much in the interior, usually I have more, but I just I've got a box of rounds here and a Korean map actually, because this thing is basically how it would look when it was in Korea. Radio chest, that's the 50 caliber toolbox, actually has all the tools in it. Both my radios, my masks are up. Did a nice job with my pictures that I sent them. And my film. I actually produced this film with a gentleman from Sony Pictures. 2010 when I was at uh, Fort Benning for the uh, Wounded Warrior Unit. So actually pretty excellent. They went ahead and set this up as a loop. Some great footage of the white uh, truck company here. The white motor company, actually. Look at those bogey frames, man. Anyway. Pretty much set up. I had to pull my batteries and drain all my tanks. Everything had to be drained. I hope this isn't too muffled because I've got a mask on. Now, I didn't put any of my real weapons in. These are all... Uh, I guess you just call replica weapons, Thompson, everything else. They, uh, they asked me not to bring my real weapons because they couldn't guarantee their safety, although there's enough people around here to choke a horse watching things. These are my gas firing 50s. I haven't finished my uh, Amphenol connectors yet to hook up my lines. When, when this thing comes out of display, that'll be the next project, getting the uh, guns hooked up to fire through the trigger. All the goodies in, uh, are in. The uh, turret are all pretty much rewired. So. Oh, Herb Bloom. Outstanding gentleman and a dear friend now. Anyway, it's one of the gentlemen that trained troops to go to Korea. But this half track and the bore for his 40 millimeter gun. So as you can see, <coughs> as you can see, we're in great hands here. It's really a pleasure to be uh, working here with the museum staff. Got a couple of uh, radio telephones there with the wire. My radio functions got grands in. I just this little grand is open over here. So pretty much set up. She ran beautifully on the way in here. I got a. I had to drive it across the base here. She runs great. I'm really, really very pleased with how she runs, and she rides pretty good too with the new track and everything gone through on the bogies. Last thing I need to do is get my Michelin run flats replaced. As you can see, these things are 68 years old. They're pretty worn out. So that's a project that uh, I'd like to get done this spring. One thing we didn't bring here was the ammo trailer. Just not enough room to put that into place here. Uh, we would have brought, blocked some of the other stuff here, so they did not allow that, which is fine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the quick uh, overview. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.